Hello everyone. This is our first chapter number system. In this uh, chapter, we are going to learn what a number system. That means a binary system or binary numbering system. We all are familiar with this one. A binary it is language of a computer. It is used by computer uh, to store data or to retrieve data from storage. Okay, because computer do not understand language that is used by any uh, user. Okay, like in the English Marathi. Why? computer is on a machine and it is non living thing okay so it uses what a, a numeric system or binary system okay this binary system works on what a electric electronic pulses okay if electronic pulse is absence or electronic pulse is absence that means it is false and it represent a zero number and second one that is if electronic pulse is uh, present uh, or in the presence of what electronic pulse it represent what a one that means true value okay so this uh, numeric system is called a binary numeric system it has two digits these are zero and one okay so let's say in short first about computer we all are familiar with this one and uh, it is a man-made electronic machine okay so computer this word comes from compute okay and uh, it is used uh, for calculation to store data and to do uh, other things like playing games and all okay but main purpose of this one is to calculate what a calculation may be simple or complex calculation okay then let's see what is the next point this after all is next point is introduction to binary numbers just now I said a binary means has only two possible numbers these are 0 and 1 generally for counting we use numbers from 0 to 9 because we are familiar with this one okay by using this we can create what any uh, number okay or multiple digit number but what about computer these numbers are completely unfamiliar to system why because a uh, computer is a uh, machine and we know that machine is a non-living thing okay so it understand only two possible values what these are 0 and 1 means true or false or yes or no or right or wrong okay here 0 represent a false and 1 represent what a true okay that means if pulse is absent it represents zero pulse is uh, present then it represents what a one and uh, these are uh, what the representation of uh, absence electronic pulse and present electronic pulse okay so this is about what a binary number okay and base of binary number is two why because it has only two digits what these are zero and one okay now let's see some important terms of what a uh, binary number so first one let's see what is bit bit means what a single digit of uh, binary is called bit it can be zero or one okay and again so many different terms are there of a binary what these are byte nib see what these are other terms of binary here bit means what a single digit okay now byte byte means what a, a group of eight digits eight binary digits is called what a byte okay now what is nib nib means what a group of four digit four binary digit okay is called what a nib so what these are some important terms we're going to learn these terms on uh, next page but now these are very important you have to remember these terms okay now this after what is next one here just said now eight bits make a byte that means a group of eight bits okay it can be combination of order zero or uh, zero and one okay and that is called what a byte okay and byte represent what a single character okay amongst 256 individual characters okay means there are 256 individual characters in between or amongst these character it can represent any one of these okay it can be number it can be character or alphabet okay that alphabet can be uppercase or in uppercase or in lowercase okay then next one it can be any punctuation mark like single quote double quote or any uh, comma okay or question mark or any punctuation mark okay and uh, it represents also what some other characters okay like Greek alphabet okay like alpha beta then this after what is the next point this after our next point uh, is the representation of what uh, the uh, 
alphabet symbols okay so how it represent uh, actually it uses what uh, ascii code okay and uh, there are total uh, 256 ascii codes are there every ascii code has a unique number and that number uh, has used by uh, computer to represent what that particular alphabet or symbol means when computer turns that binary to decimal number then system uses what the decimal number to find out uh, it represent which ascii code okay and if it belongs to any particular ascii code then instead of number directly it access or it retry what that ascii code it can be number it can be alphabet okay small capital it can be any uh, special sign or it can be any punctuation mark means all this uh, all these characters has assigned what a unique code and what we call that ascii code okay so what is the full form of ascii code ascii code stands for american standard code for information interchange nowadays uh, instead of ascii unicode is used everywhere because unicode supports multiple languages not only english some other regional languages also okay so nowadays instead of ascii means in ascii has upgraded with the uh, word a new version and what we call uh, that uh, unicode okay universal code it represent what uh, english language and with english it represent what other regional languages like hindi marathi english okay so nowadays uh, uh, this type of codes are available okay and these are supporting to other uh, languages okay so after the introduction to binary our next uh, point is binary representation okay uh, now in this uh, point we are going to learn what uh, some terms which are related to binary number okay and these are very important just now i said uh, we are going to cover what uh, the terms okay in next page and we are here now so let's see first uh, what is a bit bit means what a smallest unit or a single unit okay uh, a single bit okay or single digit of binary is uh, called bit okay like one what is one one is a bit okay zero it is also bit okay so single digit or single binary number is called what a bit okay and it can be zero or one not any other than zero and one this after our next term uh, that is also very important what is that a byte okay now bit and there's a confusion between bit and byte bit means what single digit single number okay and uh, what is byte byte means a group of eight digits eight bits okay eight binary digits or eight bits is called what byte okay and uh, that group represent 256 uh, different values not all at a time one at a time okay so that is called what a byte okay and uh, this after our next uh, term what is that a nibble nibble means what actually in byte there are four there are two sections of what a four bits okay and uh, that is called what a nibble means a group of four bits is called nibble okay in which uh, only four bits are there okay and uh, you can see here we have a uh, four bits okay and uh, it can be zero or one or combination of both okay so here we have what a nibble in which four bits are there and what these are one one zero one okay that means half portion or half part okay or 50 percent part of what a byte now this after what is our next uh, point this after our next point is uh, number system we all are familiar with the uh, different number systems okay you people are studying math from first now you are in a uh, seventh standard okay and you are you all are familiar with a different number system like uh, even numbers odd numbers integers so what these are the different co primes prime number okay armstrong number so what these are the different numbering 
or numbering systems okay in this uh, chapter we are going to learn what a numbering system okay uh, i think it's quite unfamiliar for you people okay and the hereafter you will uh, understand okay the new numbering system that is used by computer and what is that it's a uh, binary okay and uh, that we are going to learn in this point we know that when we enter any character when we enter any input to computer or when we feed more uh, data to computer using input devices then uh, computer do not accept uh, what that value or input as it is first it convert into machine language first it convert into binary language and then it accept because computer do not understand what entered by user exactly okay when it will understand after converting what input okay in its language okay and what we call that binary language or binary numeric system because the computer understand only binary numbering uh, we know that i said you okay because uh, it has only two possible values and these are depend on what uh, the electronic pulses okay if electronic pulse is absence it will represent zero that means false value and if it is present it will represent which value true value that means uh, one okay so here we have what one table okay in which uh, uh, different numbering systems are given okay the first one is a, a positional numbering system and uh, second one that is a non positional numbering system okay so we have we have to discuss about what these numbering systems okay so what is positional numbering system and what is non positional numbering system okay currently we are using or currently we are following which one the positional numbering system why there is one reason because of this uh, we can calculate calculation we can understand exact size or strength of what uh, a particular uh, thing okay but what about non position non positional uh, number system uh, it is ancient one uh, was used by people okay uh, illiterate people or ancient people okay uh, to show what the exact group or exact size of particular thing okay uh, with this uh, uh, calculation was not pos calculation is not possible okay so in those days uh, uh, people were illiterate okay so they were using what the non positional numbering system but uh, after uh, few, uh, but afterwards uh, uh, non positional system upgraded with the uh, positional numbering system okay and that we have to learn to next page so first let's see what is positional numbering system as i said uh, what is a positional numbering system positional numbering system it represent what a particular thing or size of particular thing uh, with particular what the weight okay so that number is called what a positional numbering system means to represent what a particular uh, strength or particular group or particular what a thing okay we uh, use what a specific uh, digit okay and it has a weight okay like uh, we have what seven number of what a pens okay so what is seven it is weight that is assigned to that group uh, in which uh, a pens are collected okay we have a seven means there are seven pens okay so to represent what a such a group okay to represent what a part that thing we use what a positional number system what about uh, non positional numbering system here uh, simply uh, sticks or stones are used uh, to count what a particular group or particular thing exactly we have that num that number of pens that number of what a things okay means instead of uh, uh, assigning what a particular number here the uh, sticks or stones are used uh, to count what uh, the particular thing okay and uh, that is ancient method it was used by uh, the ancient people to count okay so that is called a non positional numbering system in non positional numbering system uh, sticks and stones are used to count particular thing but in positional numbering system instead of sticks and stones uh, specific value specific digit okay uh, used uh, to represent what uh, that particular thing okay that means exactly 
this uh, thing has that number of word uh, pen or pencils okay or that number of objects so we use the word uh, positional numbering system and nowadays it is uh, generally used numbering system okay uh, for counting what uh, group of particular objects okay or also it is used uh, to calculate what any calculation okay so it is about what uh, the non positional number system and positional number system this after a uh, next one uh, is different types of what uh, positional number system in this uh, we are going to learn what the different positional numbering systems there are four different positional numbering systems and uh, what these are so first one are decimal number system uh, we all are familiar with this one uh, generally we use this or uh, commonly it is used by everywhere like counting okay assigning what are roll numbers okay then to represent what a particular object okay so we use what this decimal numbering system and it, it represents what uh, 10 different numbers okay and it begins with a 0 and uh, ends to 9 okay that means it has 10 different digits okay and uh, the base of uh, decimal number is uh, 10 why it is 10 because uh, the size or the strength of decimal number system is uh, 10 okay so the base of uh, decimal number system is uh, 10 it is used uh, to represent uh, what any uh, multi di multiple digit number that means by uh, calculating or by multiplying and by dividing uh, we can show the expansion of what any particular uh, multiple digit value like so here we have a small example of what a multi digit uh, decimal number what is that is 987 so let's see how to expand or how to show the expansion of what that number okay now it will begin with the unit then tenth and then hundred okay so we have to use a left right method to show the expansion okay so uh, we know that always uh, power index will begins with a zero okay if if uh, number present at unit plus okay so seven present at unit plus okay so what will be the power index for this number is is uh, zero okay and that we have to multiply with the ten okay that means what will come here 7 into 10 raised to 0 okay so 10 raised to 0 uh, what will the answer that is uh, 1 okay means e raised to 0 is equal to 1 uh, you know this uh, uh, what a rule if you don't know then uh, no problem just remember uh, when we uh, assign uh, 0 as a power for any number then what will be the output or what will be the result that is one like if it is a uh, 1000 raised to zero then uh, what will be the answer it is one so what will come here one that means seven into ten raised to zero so what will be the answer seven okay then next uh, we cannot calculate what directly addition okay because there's a rule uh, what do we call that a bodmas rule okay here first we calculate what the multiplication division and then at the end we calculate what the subtraction and what are the uh, addition okay that means what we call that the priority for operators okay so this after what will come next 8 into 10 raised to 1 okay now 10 raised to 1 so what will be the answer 10 raised to 1 is equal to 10 okay so 8 into 10 that is 80 it is here okay and at the end next uh, uh, what is that 9 into 10 raised to 2 okay here the power index for 10 is a 2 that means we have to calculate what a multiplication of 10 with itself how many times uh, one time that means what will come here 10 into 10 that is 100 okay 100 into 9 is equal to 900 that is here and at the end we have to calculate the addition so what is the addition is 987 okay so what is uh, 9 is most uh, significant bit okay and uh, 7 is a least significant bit so I hope you all understand this after our next uh, one is a binary number
system okay we know that what is binary it is language of computer and it has only two possible digits okay what these are on zero and one and what is the base of binary it is two okay and we have to use same method that is used for decimal number here also we have to multiply what uh, the binary digit with the base okay and here also power index will always begin with the zero that means the uh, it will start with the zero okay so then after binary number system what is the next uh, number system the next uh, number system i think uh, it's a uh, new you people are unfamiliar with this one but no problem here after you will understand what is a uh, octal okay actually it is a uh, number system uh, what we call that uh, positioning number system okay and uh, octal has what a uh, eight uh, digits it begins with a zero and stops to a or ends to seven okay and what what will be the best for octal number that is uh, eight that means the octal number system has best uh, and that is eight okay that means uh, we have to use what uh, this best to multiply uh, with the uh, any octal digit okay including its uh, power index okay and here also power index always begin with the zero okay so here we have what the octal numbers okay zero one two three four five six seven and using this you can uh, mm, create you can build what a uh, multi digit octal number okay this after a uh, next uh, one that is the uh, hexadecimal number system i think this is also new for you people no problem uh, let's see what is hexadecimal number system okay uh, it is another uh, positioning number system here uh, 16 different symbols are used uh, in which uh, numbers and uh, alphabets are mixed okay and uh, it represents first 10 uh, symbols in form of numbers and remaining uh, five symbols in form of alphabets that means uh, 10 will represent a then 11 will represent b then 12 will represent c like that it will represent and at the end uh, uh, 15 will represent uh, f okay so that is called what hexadecimal numbering system okay and uh, here also always uh, mm, power index will begin with uh, zero and will end to n minus one that means length uh, it's depend on what uh, length of power index will depend on what the size uh, you used or you uh, built a number that you built okay then uh, here we have what uh, the hexadecimal number system uh, it begins uh, or it started with a zero and it's end on uh, f okay you can see here the uh, left part of uh, hexadecimal number uh, numbers are there and to the right side uh, of hexadecimal number alphabets are there okay then we have a numbering systems table you can see here the base and their system and digits are used uh, by numbering system so what these are we have four numbering system first one is a binary what is the base of binary it's two then uh, digits are used uh, in uh, binary or uh, zero and one at the next uh, octal base of octal or base for octal is uh, eight digits are there uh, these are uh, zero one two three up to seven next uh, decimal best for decimal is uh, 10 and uh, digits are uh, 10 0 to 9 okay and uh, at the end a uh, hexadecimal uh, just now i taught this one okay and uh, best for hexadecimal is uh, 16 and uh, how many digits are there total uh, 16 digits are there it is a combination of what uh, numbers and alphabets so we can say it's uh, alphanumeric uh, numbering system in which uh, uh, multi digits values are represented by using what the alphabets first five alphabets from 
uh, alphabet series okay or from alphabets what these are a b c d e f okay a represents 10 b 11 c 12 and f that is the last number 15 okay and one thing is common in uh, all numbering system what is that your numbering system or every numbering system begins with the zero the, this is what a common okay and one thing is uh, common what is that the power index always begins with zero if you are working with a numbering system for binary or octal decimal hexadecimal then always the power index will begin with the zero okay so here we'll stop and uh, i'll cover next session to next uh, day and uh, here we have a small activity that uh, you have to solve okay in your computer notebook okay